What is up, guys? This is going to be a test of sorts, kind of. As I just got <clears throat> some new internets delivered. Nick, you settle down, sir. Got some new internets today. And, uh, yeah, so welcome to... Welcome to Chapter 3. Bring it on, Hyrule. This is going to be interesting. For sure. Last episode, we uh, got off the Great Plateau. After that shysty old man finally gave us that stupid paraglider, which is awesome. Yeah, buddy. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, which is my boy Nick. Where are you at these days, Nick? You still in Arizona? In AZ? In the southwestern region of the United States of America? Got rocks just falling randomly. All right. I'm not using that bow. I'm going to use this. Your haul! Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. That figures. Getting a little bit of lag on this end. A little bit of lag. Not super fun. So wanted to kind of give you guys the rundown of how I'm going to be running this. It's going to be a bit different than most streams, probably. Uh, most streams probably would have a person going to do shrines and go get the divine beast pretty much immediately yeah this lag is really pain uh, most streams you know you've probably seen you've probably seen people you know they'll go straight to the divine beasts if you've yeah you know if you've ever watched a uh, Breath of the Wild uh, walkthrough of any kind, let's play. They probably go get a few shrines and stuff like that, and uh, you know, and then they go get a divine beast or whatever. What I'm gonna do, and what I'm, what I'm gonna set my goals to. Is basically first goal get the master sword and what that means is get a whole bunch of shrines because the way you advance in this game in terms of HP you get oh my god this lag uh, you get uh, You get hearts and you trade them in or you trade the you know the spirit orbs you trade those in for hearts or uh, oh what's the word I'm thinking of I cannot think of it right now uh, stamina so you trade in your your spirit orbs that you get from shrines you trade that in for stamina or heart heart containers um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get enough shrines 
to uh, to get enough heart containers that will then allow me to get the master sword. Now the master sword, you have to have 13 hearts to actually survive pulling the master sword from where it is. Survive. It will kill you if you don't have enough. It will actually kill you. Which I thought, man, when I first started playing this game, I was like, that's the most brilliant freaking thing I've ever seen in a game. It's absolutely genius. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Yes, I am. Bam! Give me that. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, uh, of course, my inventory is full. I thought that was a really cool, uh, really cool thing that they added to the game. Oh my god! Only because they—I mean, they, nobody's ever done that before in a game like this. Uh, so I thought that was really sick. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, what my plan is. So I'm going to get enough shrines that I can get enough hearts that I can go to the Lost Woods and then in turn uh, get the Master Sword. And just like that, our very first shrine off of the Great Plateau is done. So that's my plan now the next plan after that as soon as I possibly can what I'm gonna do is go straight into the trial of the sword now if any of you don't know what the trial of, of the sword is it's basically powering up the master sword and it's in three different sections beginning trial, the middle trial, and the final trial. Each trial is so many floors, and if you die, you start all over. Oh, okay, here we go. Now I'm starting to get the side quests. Now, I'm still dealing with some lag here, guys, so I'm sure you probably can't see it, but I'm dealing with some not terrible, terrible lag, but it's it's pretty annoying, to say the very least. Let's see what this guy's talking about, looking at. Omens. All right. Well, that's a good sign. When people start talking about omens, that's usually that usually bodes really well. I don't know about you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you hear that, guys? We're doomed. We're doomed. Strange things that popped out of the ground. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, it was me. My bad. My bad, dude. Oh, the end is here. Oh, okay. I haven't heard that one before. Shaped like an overturned oh. urn, huh? Does that one move? Oh, okay, I'm not messing with it then. Oh. 
<laughs> Lightning flash reflexes, you say? Well then. All right, bruh. All right, so whole bunch of side quests coming up now that we're off the Great Plateau. Whole bunch of extra stuff to do. Please don't run me over, Mr. Goat. Hey, it's a goat! Now, there are several, several shrines kind of off in that direction. Not going to go get those quite yet. Only because I'm still on foot and I haven't come across a horse. But, when I do come across a horse, it's I don't like Donkey Kong riding a horse. But, for the time being, I'll bet you there's a Korok seed under there. And I'm going to get it. kidding it was a treasure chest with some opal in it I know it's pronounced opal just being weird don't judge me oh god now this one <laughs> this one is kind of funny so I've seen all kinds of people struggle with this one. And I haven't given it a shot in a while. No. Well, now I struggled with it. I'm not going to mess with that. Is there anybody over here? There sure is. Let's go say hi, shall we? Just chilling by the fire. Hi. Hi. buy stuff for me? I don't have anything. Not yet, anyhow. I don't have any money either, bruh. You too. Be good. So where we're headed, as I said in last, the last episode, is right between those peaks down there at the bottom. This trail actually kind of splits and then it joins back up not too far off. But before, before I go through there, what I'm going to do... is go get this tower. You might think, oh man, that's that's a that's a lot of swimming. Well you wouldn't be totally wrong, but I'm gonna show you what we can do. Oh and I caught myself a fish on top of that. That's awesome. Totally did not mean to do that. Oh come on. Yeah, this lag is a problem, for sure. No Link. 
Could you not? Yeah, I'm trying to compensate for the lag. Oh my lord. I don't know why he does that. Could you? Please. Please. Thank you. So, I'm going to build one more of these guys, and then climb on this here rock. He was supposed to jump right there, just so everyone knows. But he didn't. I'm really thinking I need a gaming computer for this. Currently, uh, I don't think my graphics card can really process what's going on. So if anybody knows anybody that's wanting to donate or sell for very cheap a computer that has a better graphics card than I believe this is the Intel... Um, Iris. I think I'm missing the mark just a little bit. It seems to be doing just okay. Not sort of okay, not anything like that. But it does struggle a little bit. What's up, Monique? Thanks for uh thanks for joining. Nick, I don't know if you're still with us here, but uh, if you are, thank you. All right, and as you can see, just got the uh, Dueling Peaks Tower and the Sheikah Sensor, Shrine Sensor. So what that's going to do is it's going to tell us when we're near a shrine, which is pretty freaking cool. Here, 
And I'm not going to lie to you, it's pretty annoying. Um, so I'm actually going to turn that off. That's better. And guys and gals, let me know if I've got any lag going on. Any, you know, pretty, uh, pretty crazy lag or, you know, just regular lag. If you're seeing anything at all, let me know. Give me some feedback on that. Uh, I'm less concerned with lag on my end than I am with yours. So let me know you see anything or if like the audio's off or anything like that now this shrine is really cool pretty easy stuff here at the beginning right and then that brings this here platform over and takes us over here now we've got to time this as the shrine implies we have to time this to where that ball up there winds up down there and watch And easy as that. That part's done. And as the last puzzle here, oh, beautiful. There is one chest that I absolutely must get. Alright, so the stupid lag screwed me up. I am all over the place right now. This is probably going to be a short stream today, guys, because this is, uh, this is pretty annoying dealing with this right now. I'm not going to lie to you. So I need to get that situated for sure. that that's pretty good stuff right there climb speed up and uh, if anybody's using this for a walkthrough um, that's only one way to do it there's two metal barrels down there that you can see uh, that you can actually pick one of those up and then put it on the switch over yonder so, a couple different ways to do that. As I've said in, uh, I think probably my first and second video, uh, there's definitely more than one way to skin a cat in this game. So, if you think there's just one way to do something, you're probably incorrect in that assumption. Let us keep exploring this 
really, really pretty area. I mean, look at this. How cool is that? And I really don't have the weapons to be messing with those guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross here. Like peace. Link, I swear to everything. You know what? Just go back the way you're going. So we're gonna go this way. There are a significant amount of enemies over there, and I'm really not gonna mess with them. Then there's these fools right here. I'm also not gonna mess with. They're really throwing rocks at me right now. <sighs> Rookie move. Wild horses, you say? I didn't. Oh, cool. Sweet. Alright guys, well with that, I'm going to go ahead and end right now uh, and try and troubleshoot some of these issues that I'm running into uh, with this crazy frame drop that hasn't gone up, but it's, uh, it's not where I'd like it to be either. So. Uh, I'm going to work on that, and most likely what I'll do is instead of a let's play uh, for a test later on, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, grab one of my other files, one of my other uh, gameplay files that I have, and, you know, kind of use that as the, as the benchmark or the test uh, for the next let's play episode and episodes. Uh, so... Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and for being here and checking it out and putting up with whatever lag you were seeing going on. Uh, so thank you so much for your patience with that. Still kind of dialing some stuff in. And uh, you guys have a great night. I hope to see you all later if you decide to tune in and you can. And uh, always remember, never stop exploring. Thanks, guys.